Shalom Akim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Yahweh Hakodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect. Just want to go into this lesson, which this is going to be a MOTB uh, update. And, uh, you know, this is based upon this article uh, that I came across, which this is from the market dot business insider dot com. And it's entitled the Boston Fed and MIT published long awaited research on central bank digital currencies. OK, because this is the direction that the world is headed in. OK, all currency, all money will be digital. OK. And. You know, once you really understand, you know, how diabolical this is, man, just this alone, okay, you know, this is a little side note, you would know and understand that Esau cannot be saved, okay, just the mere fact that he wants to institute something like this is completely wicked, man, okay, and then the purpose for him implementing something like this, you know, just brings it to a whole, you know, a whole nother height of wickedness okay first and foremost you're not supposed to have a digital currency your money's supposed to be gold and silver according to the bible okay but leave it to esau edom to go and completely pervert what yahweh show me how shy set up okay so just the mere fact that this damn devil is moving towards this goal he deserves to be destroyed man okay and he wants to use this system to completely enslave the earth. Why would you put it, you know, why would the thought come into your mind that this damn devil can be saved, man? <laughs> Look at what he's doing. Okay. This is this is his agenda, man. He wants to push these things throughout the four corners of the earth. He wants to digitize all money so he can have complete control over people, man. Okay. It says the Boston Fed published a long awaited research on central bank digital currencies. And the reason why they're moving towards digital currencies, is because that is what is going to be on those, uh, you know, the Haragma. It's going to be a digital currency. So this man can have complete control over you. He can, you know, dictate what you can and can't buy where you can and cannot use the money that he's given you. OK, if you did something, you know, that he doesn't agree with. Your chip will not work at the grocery stores. Okay, you'll be denied uh, access, which is pretty much, you know, an upgrade from, you know, the thing that he's pushing now. Okay, because you can go in the store still, but when you go to purchase something, it just won't work. Okay, you got to move on, man. This is a very uh, diabolical plot, man. No individual that comes up with something like this deserves to be safe. OK, <laughs> it says the effort was in partnership with the uh, MIT, which is the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. You know, one of these uh, Ivy League schools, a digital currency initiative in this first phase. Researchers focused on concepts, including including uh, crypto cryptography. Uh, distributed systems and blockchain technology it says the federal reserve bank of boston published a long-awaited research paper on central bank digital currencies on thursday in partnership with the massachusetts institute of technologies digital currency initiative the 35 page white paper is a part of a joint initiative announced in august 2020 that aimed to explore the feasibility of a digital currency in the u.s OK, and why are they exploring this? Because they're getting ready to roll out this new monetary system. The dollar is getting ready to collapse. This this economy, this economic system that we currently have is getting ready to collapse. Physical fiat is going to go, you know, the way of bell bottoms, man. OK, it's going to become obsolete. They're going to digitize everything. OK. That's the reason why they're exploring this, you know, and a white paper. You know, for brothers, uh, you know, that aren't really into cryptocurrency or don't know that much about cryptocurrency, they will publish a white paper for, you know, proposed uh, coins. OK, so if some company or some organization or a group of people get together and they think about, 
you know, putting a new cryptocurrency out before they actually release the cryptocurrency. Okay, they'll release a white paper, which a white paper would basically tell you, you know, the in the ins and outs of this this digital currency. Okay, this cryptocurrency that you know they plan on creating. Okay, so this is one step closer to them, you know, actually implementing those uh, CBDCs, which is one step closer to the Haragma. It says it is the first phase of what the group du dubbed Project Hamilton. In this phase, researchers focused on concepts including cryptography, distributed systems, and blockchain technology to build and test platforms. Our primary goal was to design a core transaction processor that meets the robust speed, uh, thorough put, and fault tolerance requirements of a large retail payment system. The report said why because they're they're, they're going to roll this thing out man okay so you know be prepared to see these different central banks rolling out their digital currencies man china's already thinking about pushing out the digital yuan okay and then eventually we're going to get to a point to where all these currencies are going to merge into one okay we're not going to need uh uh you know the each of these different central banks having their own separate currencies we'll all just be on the same thing Okay, that's part of their agenda. One world currency, one world religion, one one leader. Okay, and everybody pretty much being the same. You know, there are no races, there are no nations, there is no nationality. Everybody's on the same level. It says the researchers were able to produce one code base that was capable of handling 1.7 transactions per second. For most transactions, uh, they were able to reach settlement finality in under two seconds. As a whole, the researchers said they met uh, their goal of creating a core processing engine for a hypothetical general purpose CBDC. Okay. And this uh, processing capability is higher than any of these uh, cryptocurrencies that's out now. Okay. So this is pretty much, you know, lightning speed. Bitcoin in comparison is very slow to you know this transaction uh process okay 1.7 transactions per second bitcoin takes longer than that ethereum takes longer than that okay so you can see how they're setting it up to be the replacement of these other cryptocurrencies that's out here mo this is faster okay oh look it's cheaper it can handle huge loads of transactions you, you can you can launch this at the at a major uh retail outlet and you, you know, won't really experience, uh, you know, a decline in, in sales. OK, people won't have to wait around for the payment to process. OK, it's real quick. It says one secondary goal was to create a flexible platform for collaboration, data gathering, comparison with multiple uh, architectures and other future research, the report added. The researchers released all the software from their research publicly under the MIT open source license, which allows anyone to examine, modify and improve the code. While the first phase focused on the feasibility and performance of basic transactions, the second phase will focus on the processor's baseline requirements as well as critical questions involving high security insurance, balancing privacy with compliance and resilience to denial of service attacks which is basically, uh, you know, hacking. It says the partnership between the Boston Fed and MIT is separate from the study conducted by the Federal Reserve. The U.S. Central Bank in January published its own long-awaited paper on the subject. CBDC is a type of central bank liability similar to the U.S. dollar issued in digital form. Okay, so no longer are you going to have the need for physical money. Everything will be digital. And once it becomes digital, then they have that complete control over you. Because who's issuing this digital currency? The Federal Reserve Bank. Okay? And just like you see what's going on with this cancel culture, if you do something that displeases the government, they can shut you off. Okay? You can get canceled. All right? You're you, you spreading uh, misinformation. So you, you're not worthy of holding these uh, CBDCs. You, you're not holding worthy of holding the digital dollar. Okay, we're going to cut you out of society.
It says that CBDC is a type of central bank liability similar to the US dollar issued in digital form, which could be used by the general public. It will have the full backing of the central bank, although it could be managed by designated private financial institutions. As it stands, 87 countries are exploring CBDCs and 14, including major economies like China and South Korea are already in the pilot stage. According to a tracker by the Atlantic Council, nine have already fully launched a digital currency. Of the countries with the four largest central banks, the Federal Reserve, the European Central Bank, the Bank of Japan, and the Bank of England, the U.S. is the furthest behind, according to the tracker. So this is where the whole world is headed, man. Okay. All roads lead to the MOTB, the Haragma. Okay. This thing will be rolled out. Okay, and the reason why it's moving in this direction is because this is the will of Yahabashim Yahushai. The Heavenly Father spake of these things, really going all the way back to the beginning. Okay. But these things will reveal, you know, uh further on in the future. Okay, and now we're in a time where they're coming to pass. All right. It says, and he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. So he's going to push this throughout the four corners of the earth. Okay, we just read that 87 countries are on board with this. They're moving towards this direction. Okay, and eventually all these other countries are going to get on board because this damn devil is in control of everything, man. He's the one pushing this. And the, the Most High is putting it in his mind to push this down here. Okay. It says in that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So you ain't going to be able to buy and sell unless you have this device inside your body, man. We're just going to jump straight to the go to scripture. And we don't care, you know, if you people don't like us bringing this out, man, you tired of it. This is sound like a broken record. You know, and if you take this Haragma, you're going to be destroyed, man. This is uh, Revelation 13. And 16, it says, and he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that word mark, when you look it up, it's a ragma, okay, which goes into, you know, them making an incision inside your skin, okay, to put this subdermal device under it so you can, uh, you know, always have your uh, digital things on you. Okay, your digital money, your digital ID, your digital medical records. Okay, so on and so forth. And then the root word of that word, uh, haragma, is harax, which goes into, you know, the apparatus that they're going to use to put that device under your skin. And the crazy thing about it, you actually got individuals out there that believe that an individual such as this can be delivered. He could be saved. Look, look, this is his plan, man. His plan is to cut everybody off. You can't buy and sell unless you accept this thing that I'm offering you. And this thing, the Most High told you not to get it. If you receive this thing, you are committing a grave sin. The Most High is going to destroy you and you can't repent. And the way he set this society up, you got to buy and sell to survive here, man. You got to work. You got to get a place to stay. You know, if you, 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 if you don't have a job, you can't pay rent. If you don't have a job, you can't put gas in your car. If you don't have a job, you can't even, uh, you know, buy a car to drive. Okay, you need money to catch the public transportation to get to your job. Okay, or to, you know, pretty much go wherever you need to go. Okay, so you need money pretty much to survive in this system. And this damn devil is going to make it to where if you don't have this apparatus that he's going to provide, then you can't buy and sell. You can't live here. Okay, you're going to be shut out of society. You're going to starve to death. Okay. That's wickedness, man. And then it's not even money that he's giving you. He's giving you something that's created in a, on, a, on a computer. Okay. This is not even gold and silver. This is just some numbers typed in on a computer program, man. It says, here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 600 three score and six and this is revelation 14 and 9 it says in the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice if any man worship the beast in his image 
and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. So this is the judgment that you're going to receive if you take that haragma. And who's pushing this haragma, man? Esau eating a so-called white man. Okay? And you ain't going to have no Edomites out here denouncing, you know, uh, uh, this move, man. Okay? Or if they are denouncing this move, they got a problem with this move that the elites are making. Their problem is they don't want their freedoms uh, restricted. Okay? But they don't want Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai to rain down here upon the earth. They don't want the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father to be established down here upon the earth. They want to, they want to live their life how they've been living it, man. They just want the elites out of their, uh, you know, out of their affairs. They don't want the, the, the government or the elites to be, you know, involved in the things that they have going on and scrutinizing them. Okay? That's, that's Esau's, uh, you know, uh, squabble with this whole thing that's going on. It says the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever. And they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast and his image and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. So if you take this mark, if you take this haragma, you're going to get burned up, man. Okay, because what this haragma really signifies is you pledging allegiance to Esau Edom. You pledging allegiance to Esau Edom and his gods, man. And you forsaken the Heavenly Father. Okay, see, when you really understand what this haragma is all about, you wouldn't be saying nothing about Esau being delivered, man. Because this, this is a very diabolical plot. Okay, when you actually understand what this haragma is all about, you know, when you actually go deep into it, not just, you know, scratching the surface. Okay, yeah, he's going to put a, you know, uh, you know, a subdermal device in you And then he's gonna, you know, you can't buy and sell you, Well, without it You know, it, it goes deeper than that, man Okay, he literally wants to separate you from the Heavenly Father Okay, and this haragma is the thing that he's gonna use to solidify that That's wicked as hell, man That's very diabolical Only, only the devil would do something like that, man No other nation down here upon the earth has come up with a scheme like this devil has in his mind, man. Okay? But you got individuals out here that saying this dude can be delivered. You out of your damn mind. Okay? It says, here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of the Most High and the faith of Yahweh Shai. Okay? Because the ones that truly follow Yahweh Shai, they're going to completely reject anything that this damn devil has to offer. Okay? They're focused on staying true to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, not defiling themselves with the things that the heathen have to offer. Okay, and in doing so, they're going to be delivered and saved from the hands of this damn devil. And you know, so I just want to go into that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai willing. It was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, Hashem Yahweh Hakodesh. Double honors to the elders and apostles, a great millstone. Shalom.